listen to me child of God and I want to speak this to you and to the nation of Kenya and the nations of Africa that believe in the Bible we should not close our eyes to the agenda of the devil we should it we know the Bible in Deuteronomy 4.10 says to remember the day you stood before the Lord your God at Horeb when he said to me, assemble the people before me to hear my words so that they may learn to refer me as long as they live in the land and may teach them to their children. Deuteronomy 11 verse 19, teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. One thing I want to tell you, God called the prophet Jeremiah. Even before he was born. Jesus started serving God at the age of 12. He was in the temple discussing with the Pharisees. If we were not led to Jesus when we were young. Our lives could have been ruined. Anybody trying to say that we should not teach our children. Or convert them. Is an express agent of the enemy. And we should not be silent about it. We will take the authority of 2 Corinthians 10 4 that says we must bring down every argument that is trying to rise above the knowledge of Christ. <laughs> Allow me to tell you this. I know the agenda of the devil for the nation of Kenya. They want us to fail to convert the youth so that they can allow our children. To get an express permission into LGBTQ. We know. We are no fools. We are prophets in this nation. We see. We hear. And we know. Oh, yes. They want to resist us. From preaching to our children in schools. So that LGBTQ. Can take. Can have a half hand. They want to kill our generation. As a church of Christ, particularly where I am, we cannot permit that in Jesus' name. Yeah. Will we allow that? No. no. We pray against it. We speak against it. Even if they want to kill us, they will kill us with this knowledge that our children must be handed over to Christ. Does any one of us here regret why you received Jesus? We received Jesus when we were young. The apostle Paul tells Timothy, let no man despise you because you are young. Because young people have the energy to serve Christ. We must present this Christ to them. And I want to say this. Let our nation hear clear. We will preach in primary schools. We will preach in secular schools. We will preach in universities. Whether they like it or not. Governments will come, they will go. But Jesus remains forever. And I repeat, we will preach. And these young people will be converted. And some of them will serve Christ at their young age. I started serving Christ as a minister of the gospel when I was 19. That's when God called me. I joined the college when I was 20, but he called me at 19. I had God call me. And I want to inform the government, God does not need permission from the government to call anybody. He can call a child at two years. He is God. He is not the man. God is not a man. Yes. He is God. Yes. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. 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 So I know the intention of the devil. That once he takes away chaplains from schools, actually what the government should be doing is to employ more chaplains using the government money into schools. <laughs> not to tell us not to convert. Let people be converted. Without the consent of the parent. 
there's no problem. Some, some children cannot even reason or listen to their parents. They require a higher authority to hear. Some of these young people can kill, but unless they are convicted by the gospel, when the gospel meets them somewhere, then it changes their life. You see now, the government wants the church to seek consent and permission, but those selling alcohol are not asked for consent or permission. Those influencing our young people into practicing homosexuality, lesbianism, every form of LGBTQ, they are not seeking permission anywhere. For them, they are free. But for us, we must seek permission. I'm telling the government, we are not going to seek permission from you. We, will, we have permission from above. And tonight, as my savior is alive, I want you to take the authority of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 and bring down that bill together with the honor of the bill in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and pray. Say, I bring it down, down, down. We are bringing it down. We step on it tonight.